Hey guys, it's Noelle. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a what are my goals for the year of 2018. I think this is such a great video idea and I've seen this done already a couple times here on YouTube and I just think it's really great for me to share with you guys my goals for this year because A will keep me accountable and B maybe it will get you guys inspired for this year and to make it your year. 2017 was such a good year for me. I traveled a ton. I graduated college. Thank the Lord I'm done with that. Um, it definitely was a year of ups and downs as well. I I feel like 2017 was a year where I really found myself and grew as a person. Um, I found my style and I just feel like I got more comfortable with who I am. Um, it definitely was ups and downs. It wasn't all good and there was a lot of downs and that just made me stronger as a person. So it definitely was a growth year. But I have a really good gut feeling about 2018. I feel like it's going to be a really great year for me and it's going to be my year. So I'm very, very, very excited. If you guys like these types of videos and want to stick around here on my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and that little bell notification thing. It will notify you every time that I upload a video because sometimes YouTube doesn't want to notify you when we upload videos. So that will notify you every time I upload a video. And if you guys want to hear what my goals for 2018 are, then let's get straight into the video. So I wrote down a little list on my phone what I wanted to accomplish in the year of 2018 and one of the biggest things for 2018 is I really want to produce more great content for my YouTube and my Instagram um, especially well obviously both but YouTube I want to be consistent I really have gotten more consistent once I graduated college which is a really big thing for me it was very hard to film and be in college and do blog posts as well. So I started out my blog over the summer, which was one of the things that I wanted to do to end 2017. And I just want to continue those both. Um, I really want to produce great content for YouTube. And then especially for my Instagram, I want to get creative with my pictures and just produce great pictures. I don't want to have those like filler, like doesn't really mean anything to me pictures. I want my Instagram to portray how hard I work on my blog and my YouTube as well. Um, I already did end the year with, I started, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you don't, you would know that I started using Lightroom, which is a big thing for me because I don't know how to work computers or cameras. It took me so long to figure out how to do videography and lighting and all that good stuff. So using Lightroom to edit my pictures has been a little bit of a struggle, but I have purchased some presets because I really want my pictures to look very cohesive and just very, very, like have really good quality. Um, so that is one of my goals for 2018. I really just want to keep producing great content for you guys on YouTube and my blog and Instagram as well and just grow my channel and my blog. The second thing that I have for 2018 is moving out. One of my goals is to move out in 2018. I still live at home with my mom, which is fine. I'm here saving money as much as possible and it's not that big of a deal, but I would like to move out. If you guys don't know, me and my boyfriend, we are long distance. Um, he lives in upstate New York, so I don't see him very often. It is a little bit easier to see him because it's not too far of a drive. It's only like six hours away. Um, but it is hard to like figure out when he's off and when I'm off So we really don't see each other that much and now they're out of college We really don't see each other um, and one of our goals is to just move in together We have been dating for four years now um, and we want to take like the next step in our relationship and move in together um, It's not a hundred percent official yet, but we have been looking at places um, I will be vlogging definitely for you guys the whole like moving process and like Stuff like that and budgets because moving out is so freaking expensive. Um, I've already started a little bit and it's just crazy. Um, but for right now, I'm just saving as much money as possible um, so I have enough money to move out. Um, so yeah, I definitely will be vlogging that whole experience. It's going to be a lot of fun. I already vlogged a little bit because we have been looking at apartments. Um, we were thinking about moving earlier like in the summer, but it never happened because it just wasn't, it just wasn't the right time. Um, so I still have some footage from when I looked at old places, but I probably will compile them all into one big vlog for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very excited. Um, so that's one of my main goals for 2018 is to move out. I'm very, very excited. It's going to be so sad leaving this place, um, especially since my whole family's here. Um, but I'm on to new adventures and I'm ready to just run towards fear. That is one of my favorite quotes and that's another thing that I'm going to live more by in the year of 2018 and hopefully years to come. One of my favorite quotes is to run towards fear and what that means is don't be afraid of fear. Um, if it scares you, it's probably a good thing for you um, and every time that I've kind of like chased fear and like got over my fear of whatever it was, I had an amazing time and, um, and I experienced something truly great, whether it was YouTube or studying abroad, if you guys see, saw my last videos a couple years ago, it scared the hell out of me. Um, but it was honestly one of my favorite memories of my entire life and just running towards fear is something that's good for you. So um, I'm definitely ready to just live by that quote. 
third thing I want to work on in 2018, this gets a little deep, but um, third thing I want to work on is sticking up for myself and being less passive. I'm a very, very passive person and it makes me, I'm even getting uncomfortable talking about it. Um, it makes me very uncomfortable to speak my mind and especially when someone's like being confrontational. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to work on that instead of being less passive and kind of just speaking my mind and sticking out for myself, um, whether it's friends, family, boyfriend, whatever it is, life, work, whatever, um, kind of just like not letting people walk all over me. I'm definitely, I'm definitely quiet if you guys don't know me. I'm quiet once you get to know me and, um, if you make me feel uncomfortable or you, or you just like very intimidating, I'm very quiet. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's definitely one of the things I want to work on, kind of just being less passive. Another thing I want to work on in 2018 is um, starting this book that I got the other day and I really wanted to make this a point. Um, when I was younger, I used to go to church every single day, um, well not every single day, but I used to go like three times a week um, counting Sunday. I used to do Bible study, I used to go on Sundays, I used to do a ton of that stuff like teen worship groups and stuff like that. Um, but once I got into like high school and college, it kind of like fizzled out. Um, life got busy but that's a terrible excuse and I feel like I've pushed it off for too long and I've always wanted to get back into that um, start going to church and just making God a priority um, because I feel like he's number one in your life and if you live by God you're gonna have a great life um, so I got this book the other day and I want to finish this book so it is I don't know it's just in a random clothing store and I found this and I just I don't know I thought it was a sign that I saw it um, and I picked it up and I didn't care. So it's called Devotions for the God Girl and it's just a 365 day journey. So each day there is a page that you read and it's a devotional for a day. So it will, each day you read one page and it's just living your life towards God. And I think that's very important. Um, not everyone believes in God and that's totally fine, but I do. And I think it's important for me to get back into the lifestyle of what God wants you to live by. Um, so I'm going to start this and I'm gonna try and go to church more often. Um, it's very hard because I work a lot on Sundays, but um, when I don't, I want to try and go. So yeah, this is one of the things that I want to do. I want to make sure I finish this book. It's 365 days, so I'm already on day two, obviously, um, and I want to stick to this and make this a priority. Um, so yeah. Well, the next thing on my list is going to church, so I kind of included that in there. I want to start going back to church. Um, I feel like it's very important. I don't want to say I believe in God and then not do anything godly. Um, I feel like that's very hypocritical, and I don't want to say that I believe in God and I'm a Christian and then not do anything about it to support my Christianity. Um, so I definitely want to go back to church and start doing that. Um, so yeah. The next thing on my list is progressing in my career, blogging, and YouTube. Well, I already mentioned that in the first one, so um, we'll just skip over that. Another thing I want to do in 2018 that scares the heck out of me, but I definitely want to try it. Um, I want to start freelancing in makeup, whether it's bridal, prom, or just like um, any appointments in general. I really want to start doing freelancing makeup and start doing that, which scares the heck out of me. I have to start making my kit. Um, my friend who I work with in Ulta, she does freelancing and she's just like, why don't you do it? Just do it. Um, I don't know what's like holding me back still, but I definitely want to make that a priority in 2018 to just do it. Um, I obviously know how to do makeup, but it just intimidates me doing makeup on other people sometimes. Um, I don't know. I just always scare them they're, they're going to hate it or I don't know. It's just, it's very intimidating to me, but I really want to start doing that. Um, and just broadening my horizons and just, and just growing in my makeup artistry. I feel like freelancing will really, um, help me grow when it comes to my makeup artistry. So I really want to start doing that in 2018. The next thing I really want to do in 2018, and my boyfriend, he, <laughs> we have this constant battle because he's very, he's a very safe person. Um, he's a very realistic person, and so am I to an extent, but I like to broaden a little bit more than he does. So one of my main goals in 2018 is to just book a really big vacation summer. Yes, we're going to Nashville, which is a very big vacation, but I want to go somewhere that gets us out of our comfort zone and brings us somewhere that we just have never been before and just makes us feel very uncomfortable. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to convince him to go to Europe because um, he hears that and he's like, oh my God, it's so expensive. And it is, um, but there's a way to budget it where it it's affordable. So I'm going to try and do that in 2018. I want to go somewhere in Europe all by myself, play it all by myself, do this by myself and just travel somewhere and just make memories and go on adventures because I was telling him the other day, I feel like it's very important to just make memories with the people you love. I feel like if you're working for the rest of your life, why not spend your money on something that you is worthwhile? I think it's more important to spend money on traveling and making memories, whether it's just 
going ice skating or going to a movie or doing something you wouldn't normally do with someone rather than spending it on a dress or getting my hair done or I don't know home decor or something like that I just feel like it's more important to travel and I love traveling it's one of my favorite things definitely is expensive but there's a way to make it where it's possible and I really want to do that in 2018 travel somewhere that gets me and cash out of our comfort zone especially him because he's very very safe he's a safe person which is great about we balance each other out very well um but I definitely want to do that in 2018 and I I'm gonna make him do it the last thing on my list is to just say yes to more things um to an extent safe things um I feel like saying yes instead of no like go out more have more fun yes I love staying in and watching Netflix and just cuddling in my bed who does it I'm like an old woman um, but I feel like a lot of my life I could have said yes to more things um, especially in college whether it was just hanging out with my friends or watching TV with them instead of me staying home and just doing nothing um, I really regret not doing a lot more things in college and I don't want to do that in my 20s either um, especially this year I just want to say yes to more things and I feel like it goes along with run towards fear um, I just want to make the most of my year and make the most of my life um, so I feel like that is going to help me have 2018 a really good year um, so just saying yes to more things say say screw it and just do it I, I added one on my list so the last thing that I really want to work on I wrote this in my planner if you guys watched my plan with me video for 2018 but I really want to start budgeting my money better um, I really want to start like figuring out where most of my money goes setting aside a certain amount for each whether it's gas groceries um, fast food shopping stuff like that I have an app um, let me see what it's called it's called mint um, and that really does help you and I really want to start like focusing more on that um, I have it but like it's kind of scares me to look at it because it really tells you where it like it's hooked up to your bank account and it tells you really where your money goes <sighs> Mine goes to coffee and clothes, if that wasn't like a no-brainer. Um, so I really want to start budgeting my money better, um, saving it, and putting it towards more important things. Um, it's hard though because my YouTube and my blog obviously makes me have to purchase more fashion and beauty because that's what my channel and my blog is mostly about. So it kind of it kind of stinks because it gets very expensive. Um, blocking and YouTube is not an expensive like career and hobby. Don't let that fool you. Um, so I definitely want to start budgeting my money better and finding more affordable places to buy clothing from instead of like <sighs> my loves of free people and anthropology. <laughs> They're my favorite, but they're so expensive. So I definitely want to start budgeting my money better and figuring out where I can get the most out of my money value. Um, because obviously I have to buy beauty and fashion stuff for my blog and YouTube. But that's another thing I want to work on in 2018 is just budgeting my money better. Um, buying coffee instead of like going to Wawa or Dunkin' or stuff like that. Make your own coffee. Make food at home. Um, I mean, I already make food at home, but it's really hard to do that with my work. So I want to try and work a little bit harder on that. Um, so yeah. I could probably come up with a thousand more things that I want to do in 2018, but those are the main goals that I want to do for this year. And I'm very, very excited for everything that God is going to bless me with this year. Um, and I'm just very excited about this year. And I just, I can't wait. I don't know. I just have a really good feeling about it. I hope you guys are very excited for this 2018 and very inspired and to do just whatever you want to do, whether it's go after your dreams, work on your goals, graduate college, high school, get your job, something like that. I really hope you guys are very inspired. And yeah, I really hope that this inspired you guys to go after what you want for 2018. And if you guys did like this video and you guys do like me, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.